All right, guys, welcome back with another one. Is there anything more terrifying than drilling one hole in your boat and a big hole uh, than drilling three holes in your boat? So I need to replace my rod holder. I snapped it off ages ago and I've just been bearing along with it. These are about seven bucks from BCF. So that's what you need to do. If you've never done any riveting before in your boat, it's really easy, really straightforward. Um, you have to drill out the old rivet. So first thing is make sure you start with a hole that is smaller, a uh, drill bit that's smaller uh, than the actual size of the hole and you can work your way up if you don't know how big the rivet holes are. I believe these are four millimeter holes. I've had to do a few other repairs on the boat, but just wanna make sure before I um, start drilling into it. So you need obviously some aluminum rivets. Um, I've got a couple of different sizes here, depending on what they are. So these are 4.8 millimeter rivets. Um, with some different lengths. I've got 9.6 millimeters and 6.4 millimeters long. So I'm gonna just start with a three and a half millimeter drill bit and see if that is, is okay to drill out the rivet. Otherwise, I'll go up next size up to about a four. All right, so like I said, three and a half mil. Not big enough yet. All right, so I'm moving up to a four mil bit now. That was ah, don't grab it, it'll be hot, mate. So as you can see, that's just lifting up. It's over on the bench, mate. Alright. You just need to get that last screw out. Yeah. Can I'll we? just take it easy. I found money. Yep. You found money, have you? Great. What have you done? My glasses are gone, I told you. Oh. Oh, no, they are. Oh, it's gone. Hold on. What are you doing? Will you put that back on, Dad? No, no, because this is broken, this one, mate. Oh. Jesus. What do you mean it's broken? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, look. Oh, no. oh. What's this? Done. Hey, Dad. Can you... Shh. Don't put your hand up through there, okay? I'm not. I don't put my glasses on. Don't. Done. All right, so we've got the holes. Let's give that a little bit of a brush away. All right, poor man's brush. Like a brush. Yeah, like a brush. But it's all right. So out with the old. In with the new. Make sure they all line up, which they do. Perfect. Now you need to have a thick, you need to work out how thick the yeah, pipe work is. So as you can see here, this is a, uh, what's this one? 6.4 millimeter. So that plus that should be spot on for this. I won't need to go the big one. Anyway, we'll give it a try. Now, the next thing that you need is your good old rivet gun. Really easy to use. These are really cheap to buy. You get them from Bunnings. Um, oh, no, not about these. 10 bucks. Man. You can get really fancy ones, but for just home gamer, pretty straightforward. And then you just poke it in and start squeezing <laughs> until it goes crack. There you go. That's one. Here we go. Oh, you cracked that one, didn't you? But it was noisy. Yep. There we go. Oops. Whoop. Oops. Poke the next one in. Poke the next one in. Oh, 
Disney fraud. Does it? Yeah, it's noisy. There we go. Hang on, get the other one out. There we go. Don't put your hands there. Oh, that was on one go. Done. And it's... It is as simple as that. So, out with the old, in with the new. Dad, can I show one of my tricks? We're ready to go fishing again. Now, so like I said, get the get the craft right, Bunnings, any tool, hardware shop. Different sized holes for the different thicknesses. Easy, done. It's like literally five minutes to get it put back together. Take your time, just don't drill out the hole too big, otherwise you will run into a problem, but that's it. Easy one. Thanks again for watching. Catch you on the next video. Cheers.